The mystery of the animal mutilations in North America is an old story to retired Arkansas Sheriff Herb Marshall. He witnessed the hysteria surrounding bizarre cattle deaths in his jurisdiction of Washington County. But Marshall wasn't one to go in search of elusive aliens or some unknown beast. He decided to lure whatever was doing the mutilating to him. A good investigator always looks at the what, when, where, why, and how because there's something that made that animal the way it was. And this is the way we went at it as an as a investigation with an open mind. Back in 1979, reports began to surface in northern Arkansas of cattle attacked and horribly mutilated. Eyes and sex organs were missing, tongues cut out, and skin often pulled away from the carcass. Panic built within the community, and speculation ran rampant. Was it aliens? Satanists? Rick O'Kelly was a deputy under Herb Marshall. I like to call it the War of the World Syndrome because once it got into the press, then the population didn't really want to hear an explanation. But from an investigator standpoint, we, our concern was, was whether there were any laws being broken, whether someone was actually intentionally killing people's cattle, which is personal property. The local vet suspected the animals were dying of a disease called blackleg, but that still didn't explain the apparent mutilations. Perplexed, but not ready to buy into either Satan or the supernatural, Marshall hit on a novel experiment. Why not watch a fresh carcass for a couple of days and see what actually happens to it? With the help of the vet, some of his deputies, and one very dead cow, that's exactly what he did. A local rancher donated a carcass, and the deputies laid it out in the middle of an open field to replicate conditions of mutilated cattle found in the county. Then, the group hunkered down for perhaps the weirdest stakeout in history. So we placed uh, two officers there, and we worked shifts. We tried to, tried to work uh, eight or ten hour shifts. And they maintained surveillance on this animal 24 hours a day, day and night. Within the first hours of surveillance, cameras recorded significant bloating. If an animal lays there, with the, especially in the summertime, with the heat being right at 100 degrees, and uh, within 24 hours, that animal is going to be pretty bloated. Shifts changed, and deputies tried to stay alert throughout the night as the cow's body continued to expand. By morning, the skin had begun to split. The suspected buzzards don't show, but what the deputies soon discover are thousands of completely unanticipated perpetrators, the blowflies. Once the animal had bloated and uh, the gases had forced a lot of the organs and things from the inside out, then the blowflies cleaned that up very, very quickly. The flies laid eggs in soft crevices like eyes, ears, nostrils, and sex organs. The maggots' mouth hooks clip decomposing flesh, and their saliva dissolves dead tissue. Within hours, these microsurgeons created cuts that appear to rival those made by a scalpel or laser. Insects cleared up another mystery. They cleaned up blood on and around the carcass with amazing efficiency. And in just a matter of hours, they would uh, create a condition where it looked just exactly like what uh, we would see in our investigation. After 48 hours of surveillance, Mother Nature had created a typical cattle mutilation. And the Washington County Sheriff's Department considered the case of unexplained cow mutilations officially closed. 